in today's podcast, we are going to look at how advising ourselves without ulterior motive or parenting ourselves will help us lead a better life. Welcome to Health for the Spirit, Soul and Body podcast, where we teach simple concepts and practical ideas we can apply to our whole being to keep us in good health. Before we go on, please support us by taking a few seconds to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more messages. Interestingly, there are very few animals who are born and from birth they immediately fend for themselves. I have found it fascinating and I've looked it up from time to time as to how from birth certain animals seem to have what they need to survive. Some of these animals are lizards who lay eggs and when the young ones hatch the parents are not there, they fend for themselves. Butterfly, the moths, sea turtles that when the eggs hatch, they find their way into the sea and they seem to know how to swim immediately and take care of themselves. But however, when you look at mammals, mammals usually parent their children. Also, it's been found that most intelligent animals like dolphins, whales, elephants, a lot of intelligent animals on the earth parent their offsprings for a prolonged period of time. For us, as humans we parent our children until our children become adults whatever that age is wherever we are of course i have seen some people who are about 40 years old nothing wrong with them they don't have any retardation but they are still awaiting their parents to give them instructions before they do things. That's not what I'm talking about. When we become adults, we tend to begin to fend for ourselves. But interestingly, this is the time that our parental guidance, which is the one of the few times that you get on uh, um, guidance without ulterior motive, guidance from someone who wants the best out of you, no matter what it is, no matter who you are, no matter your um, feelings or shortcomings, a parent usually will love the child unreservedly. So but when we get to this stage where we have to parent ourselves, many of us find it difficult to be disciplined to do the things we need to do mostly because most of the time before that time we had somebody to help us i want to look back at a time when i started medical school um, at about the age of 15 6, 16 and this was the first time in my life that I was living alone. I had my finance and I had control of whatever I liked to eat. I was in control of if I needed to go to school or not, if I needed to go to class or not. Before then, I stayed at home all through. I went to, uh, to school from home. So I always had my mother and father encouraging me as to what to do. And so one of the 
um, things that I did then was to do something that I found wasn't that easy to do at home. Coming from a home with six siblings, uh, we were seven children in the house, in a middle-aged, uh, middle-income family. Um, it's not that simple in a middle-income family to have, at least where I grew up, in Nigeria to be able to have uh, milk for any child to take anyhow they wanted for at any quantity. So I always dreamed of taking certain things as much as I could without anybody telling me don't take too much or um, control yourself. And so one of the things I did when I had the opportunity was that I spent some amount of money buying the largest possible tin of powdered milk and I sat down and I ate the dry powdered milk as much as I wanted and um, I found out at the end of the day that it wasn't good for me. <laughs> Quite interesting. Again, one of the things I did was to play games as long as I wanted and even though the games at that time were not as elaborate and as interesting as the games we had now, but I was playing a simple Space Invader game on my watch and I found that I played that game non-stop for more than three hours, oblivious of what was happening around me. And after that, I was scared of myself. My focus was so much on that that I decided from then on that I was going to protect myself from video games. Otherwise, I'll get distracted. And so the best way to parent oneself actually is through principles of the word of God. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 32 says, he that is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh a city. And so if we can control ourselves, rule yourself, when you rule yourself, you'll be mighty in the things of God. So knowing myself and finding out certain things I didn't like many years ago and certain areas of weakness has helped me become a better person, has helped me become a better Christian by eliciting some changes in order for me to improve myself. I also mentioned a few things about knowing oneself in the previous podcast. Before now, you could go to the podcast channel and go through that be, um, as after this podcast. If you're a parent, let's look at this analogy. If you were a parent to an exact replica of yourself, and that replica is a child or a younger version of yourself facing the situations you face, what advice would you give yourself? Well, let me put it like this. If your future self were able to connect to you now, what advice would you give yourself concerning the circumstances that you face? If you are not sure, look at the past five years, the circumstances and situations you passed through, and look at yourself now. What would you tell your past self if you had the opportunity? This is a way of priming oneself to be able to parent oneself. Wherever you go, no matter who you become, no matter how rich you become, no matter what job you do, whether you become a doctor, lawyer, whatever you are doing, you are still yourself. If you check that person that you were at 15, 16, 17 years old, you are still that person. And so changes can only be made deliberately on yourself. It is important to make 
a non-judgmental practical analysis of oneself making this analysis will help one be able to handle the things that come as the analysis is made one will note areas that need change and then we walk towards the change that we need enforcing it the way a parent would enforce what is best for their child so that their child will thrive. And so let's take an opportunity, bring ourselves out of ourselves, look at ourselves from the outside and parent ourselves. I believe that we will make the best parents for ourselves. We know ourselves, we will be fair to ourselves and we will love ourselves as we do that we are blessed in jesus name if you gain something from this teaching don't forget to like it subscribe to our channel and share with others thank you